So we're taking a look at the RAF theme. It's branded as a lightweight, full-site editing ready theme. RAF provides a clear start, clean start, and a solid base in conjunction with OtterBlocks plugin, supporting your ideas and creativity. You can download this for free and get started with it. Um, I think theme aisle themes are probably one of the most slept on uh, starter themes for an agency, for a freelancer. I really like the designs that theme aisle provides um, with their themes, with their base themes. And they're now obviously getting into the game. Why wouldn't they? Uh, it's already far into the game, <laughs> getting into the game of full site editing. Uh, and they're now launching this new lightweight uh, blocks theme. They will have me test out their OtterBlocks plugin uh, so that we can see this in its full capacity, check out the patterns, and uh, just start playing with RAF to see how I feel about it. I'll tell you uh, straight up that full site editing is still pretty difficult for me. Uh, you know, having come from, uh, well, just standard Gutenberg is fine, but once you start playing with a full site editor, I really start to struggle with the concept of how they do templates. And it's not theme aisle's fault or the RAF theme's fault. It's uh, the core WordPress experience. And when I compare that apples to apples to say a Beaver Builder or an Elementor, uh, it's just more logical to me to do it in a building environment that is made for building out templates and layouts and dynamic content and all of this stuff uh, that WordPress does really well and that Beaver Builder and Elementor do. Uh, really well, you know, no matter what qualms you have about page builders. Okay, let's go and start playing with Raft, full site editing, and see if we can build ourselves a site. Okay, I just want to start with some base level stuff here. Uh, we're in the back end of my Pressable hosted site. We're using, obviously, the Raft theme by Themile, Otter Pro plugin, the free Otter plugin, which you can get from WordPress.org. And um, we're going to look at some of the things that that enables for us. Uh, one thing I want to call attention to, because I think it's, you know, as a longtime WordPress user and a product maker myself, the Otter settings are under settings and then Otter. Uh, in other words, they're not screaming at you. They're not adding another admin menu here uh, that's really just always in your face with the Otter logo, because they could have done that. There's a lot of theme companies that do do that, a lot of plugins that do do that, and try to take precedence in the admin I really appreciate a company that um, appreciates your admin space. <laughs> and uh, I think that's a very overlooked thing these days. So I wanted to call attention to that. I also wanted to call attention to, I really like the um, design styling of their settings page. Very simplistic, very minimal. It's clean. It's not loud and yelling at me uh, about buying something else uh, or advertising another product. Again, these are small things, but I just wanted to call it out because I do appreciate it. It is something that uh, a lot of theme companies, plugin companies, uh, SaaS companies that connect up to your WordPress site uh, should take note of. Okay, this is primarily a full site editing uh, theme. I want to go to appearance and then editor. I'm going to show you the home page and what it looks like. Uh, this is by default. This is the styling. We're going to customize it in a moment. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to show you some other stuff. But this is what it looks like. Uh, this is what it should look like uh, by default. It's a more modern, you know, what I would say. They say it's a lightweight theme. You know, I agree. It's probably lightweight in, in terms of code and design. Uh, but I'd also say that, you know, looking at it by default, uh, it's probably more, I don't know, tr uh, modern software software as a service, uh, online services company vibe. Uh, you know, I think that when we look at other themes, obviously this theme can be turned into anything. It can be turned into a restaurant theme, a legal theme, all of that stuff. But when I'm picking a theme, if I'm using a theme and I'm not a developer or an agency, I'm not selling my services, I'm the end user, uh, I want something as close to the final design as possible. Yes, I could build anything with this. Yes, I could change this all. But what these theme companies might forget, I'm not saying that, you know, theme aisle is in, in this case, but I want to save as much time as possible. It's great that I can do anything, but I don't want to do any, <laughs> I don't want to do everything in anything. I want to get from seeing my theme at 90% um, complete in the sort of demo and, you know, when I'm previewing themes and then I'll do the 10%. Uh, but if I needed to do 50%, if I needed to do 80%, I would have just picked another theme. So again, these are just like little minute things. I want to call them out uh, because when you're looking at selecting a theme, 
uh, then you just obviously want to look at the design, how far away from your goal, if you're not a developer, not an agency that's going to be customizing it, you know, soup to nuts for your client. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the important blocks and patterns that are included. Okay, so just before we close the screen, I do want to show it to you. Um, there is this pop-up that comes up for your first time looking at a page that has, uh, with a site that has Otter Blocks enabled. Otter is a lightweight, dynamic collection of page building blocks and templates for the WordPress block editor. You can hit next, create unique pages with the section block. Section blocks allow you to create responsive sections with up to six columns. Uh, they have advanced customized customization options, extend each block with more powerful features, CSS, animation, visibility. We'll take a look at some of that in a moment and then make your website shine with Otter Pro. We already have Otter Pro in here. Uh, it would be nice that if that didn't come up, but uh, there it is. It tells you you can make it a little bit better. Uh, thanks for choosing Otter, and then you can subscribe to their mailing list. So now let's take a look at some of those blocks and patterns. I'm going to add in uh, or just hit the, the plus button and then pull up uh, the tray here. So like many other theme and block companies, um, everyone's sort of choosing a different color for, you know, for their, for their blocks to differentiate. I've seen every single color uh, imaginable. Jetpack is green. Uh, Otter is this sort of almost pink, at least on my screen. Um, so it's got all the typical blocks that you're going to look, that you're going to need. Masonry, live search, accordion, circle counter. These are all the animated effects. Keep in mind, I do have Otter Pro enabled here. Um, so you might see some other blocks uh, that you might not see in the free version. Uh, but this is all the stuff you're going to need to build literally almost any kind of um, website. In today's example, I'm going to focus on this post because I'm going to try to uh, rebuild the WP Minute uh, you know, using this theme uh, in a moment. But uh, it's got all the typical stuff that you're going to look for that you're going to need uh, to build out your site. Taking a look at the patterns, there are a ton of patterns here. There's otter blocks patterns uh, that we can pull in. These look really cool. Um, I'm going to just drop in this call to action. I really like this. And uh, as I said at the top of the of the video, um, I think Theme Isle has some of the best designs uh, with their base themes uh, in the market. And I think they are one of the most slept on uh, theme companies when it comes to having an agency or a freelance business and you want a theme to rely on. Uh, but this is a pretty cool... Uh, you know, hero section. Of course, everything looks good uh, when it's designed by the theme company and you might not be using their particular design components. But uh, when we click on this section, I'm going to expand it in the um, the left-hand tray here so you can see it. It's the Otter Blocks section and then section column. This is very familiar uh, to how maybe Generate Press does, uh, you know, building out their blocks with uh, the way that they do columns and the generate block itself, right? So you have sections, you have the section column, uh, and then within the section and column, we have the advanced heading uh, block, the paragraph, which is the sub subtext there, and then the buttons. And it looks like they're using the core buttons. Um, there's no there's no otter button uh, to to say say the least. So uh, maybe I can still animate it though. Can I make that button fly in? Let's take a look or bounce in. Yes, I can. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, so advanced heading, section column, these are auto blocks specific. And I'm just showing you on the right hand side that you can kind of play with the padding, the margins, uh, the background content, all of this stuff uh, is customizable. Again, nothing new uh, to the world of Gutenberg, uh, but what we appreciate here is that it's not super crowded or super overwhelming in terms of uh, features and settings uh, that I need to, you know, play with. I, I've definitely seen some blocks where I just can't make sense of what the options do, uh, and 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 these options are super clear to me. I can switch. Um, the different look and feel to get an idea for the style. I didn't like how that reset when I did that. That brought me out of that when I, I went into there. So that's a little annoying. I don't know if that's an Otter thing or just a Gutenberg thing. Uh, but I can kind of play with it at different dimensions and help me fine tune my site when I'm building out these different sections. Okay, let's get back to looking at some of the other patterns that Raft includes. Uh, these are all the uh, patterns that the theme Raft includes. You saw a lot of this stuff on the homepage of the site, like I can drop in this hero section uh, at any point. 
probably have to make that full width uh, in order to make that, uh, let's just do inner blocks use content width. How do we make that over here? So we go full width and that'll make that full width there. That's that hero section that we've seen uh, on the home page. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty sharp. Let's go back to the patterns, raft patterns. Um, and all this stuff is really cool. Again, I'm going to really focus in on the post query loop when I start playing with this uh, in a moment. This is uh, some test content that I have in here. Post query loop. If we select that, it uh, looks like it's using generally the core post query loop. They're not adding anything uh, too different uh, with what they have, what they're working with. Uh, if we go into these settings, we can see all the stuff. Okay, all this stuff is pretty standard. All this stuff is pretty much core Gutenberg. We can go items per page to, and that adds our second one there. We can go items per page five, uh, max page to show. We can adjust that so it only shows a, a certain amount uh, of, of pages at the bottom. Uh, of course, a lot of this stuff doesn't have a featured image because I imported this from my live site. So all of this stuff is really clean, really easy to use. Uh, let's jump into the theme builder or the theme editor inside of WordPress. Editor screen. Uh, these are all the default templates that auto, that uh, uh, the Raft theme ships with by default. And we can kind of customize this uh, front page template so that, uh, well, we can design our front page and have that set as uh, the precedence across the entire site. By clicking into this, it'll bring up uh, the full site editor and we'll expand the tray again and we'll see the purple color and uh, indicating the header and the footer sections. Um, and I want to just focus in on these two sections first because this is something where, um, well, a lot of folks start with the menu and logos and site names and all that fun stuff. Uh, a few things that I need to point out, which are still very complicated in the WordPress world. It has nothing to do with uh, the fine folks at Themeisle, but everything to do with how full site editing works. Uh, the menu system is still pretty tough. It's getting a lot better, but it, there's still some real rough edges. You can move these pages around uh, accidentally, just put that as a sub item, as you notice. And now I have no idea how to bring it back out. There it is, just bring it out to the left. So playing around with the uh, navigation is a lot smoother these days uh, than it was in the past, but still, again, some rough edges. One of the things that I like uh, about Otter is they have this kind of cool little menu icon feature. If we click on that, uh, we can search for an icon. Let's just say email. There is no email. Voicemail, let's just use the voicemail icon for right now. <laughs> click on voicemail and you can see it adds a little icon uh, next to uh, the menu item. So that's kind of cool, kind of fun uh, if you're looking to uh, put some icons next to your menu items. All this other stuff is by default uh, uh, Gutenberg block social icons. Uh, so you can just kind of play with that stuff if you want. Some of the things that we'll look at uh, as a web designer is, well, we might want to redo that footer. Now the footer by default is just this standard sort of copyright and privacy policy. So let's say we wanted to edit this footer. Uh, we can do that individually and just come right in and start adding stuff, removing stuff. Uh, but the raft theme does ship with uh, two different types of footers. We can take a look at that by going to the template parts, back out here, and footer with columns. So there's a footer with columns that we can add, uh, which is pretty cool. I think a lot of folks would tend to go with the three column layout is very uh, common these days. So it does ship with this and you can add this uh, to your site. Uh, or if you want to modify this a little bit more, you can clean it up and add your own uh, either content or change it to two columns or something like that. So it is nice that they do ship, uh, they do ship the raft theme with that option. Okay, so now I want to just customize the raft theme to try and build out what I'm doing here at the WP Minute, uh, creating a new homepage. Uh, I want to have the sort of news feel where I can have my featured images, or excuse me, my featured articles up top, and then uh, my more recent articles, but I basically want to have more of them. <laughs> right now I'm sort of uh, stuck with a custom built theme where I can't easily customize this homepage without having to, you know, write some new code or, you know, just redevelop it 
from scratch. So if I were using this theme, how would I approach that? Well, first, uh, let's just get rid of these uh, groups because I just want to start fresh. Now, some of this stuff is uh, more about the core full site editing and Gutenberg block building experience than it is to do with Otter. Uh, but I'll try to call out, or excuse me, uh, the RAF theme uh, combined with Otter. But I'll try to call out those nuances as we go. I'm going to just start fresh here and I'm going to add in um, one of the patterns. Let's just take a look. I want to replicate this sort of uh, hero section call to action, which nowadays is arguably too large. It was fine when this literally was an experiment <laughs> when I first started. Uh, first started out the project. Let's have a browse through here to see if I see any RAF patterns I think uh, would make sense. Cover title with backgrounds looking like the most obvious one at this point. Otter Blocks has some as well. These look much more content focused though. Um, let's just keep scrolling through. Call to action section. And this that's, that's just the default uh, section there. Headers, footers, this is headline section. All right, let's go hero section with button. Um, I'm going to say your favorite five minutes of WordPress news. Read, listen, watch. Or watch every Wednesday. Subscribe to the free newsletter. So that's pretty cool uh, hero section. I do like the styling of this theme, uh, especially for the WP Minute. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't be using this uh, cover background or is that what it's called? Cover background, hero background. Uh, so let's go ahead and remove that. Um, if I can find a way to remove that. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is, go ahead and expand this section, section column. Is it in the background section here? Not there. Well, it has to be, it has to be in section, right? So section structure, advanced. I'm just gonna get rid of that. So style background all right so we just want to go color and that's pretty cool can i just clear that what happens if i clear it can i just do transparent is that the same color Get rid of that background overlay. Clear. And then change this style text theme style text. And with that one. That's not even the right color, right? So background, background, theme. That's the same. There we go. Cool. All right. So that took a little bit of digging right there, but uh, that's a real world example. I don't want to cut that from the video um, because, you know, there were things that were in there. I spelled Wednesday wrong. Not a surprise. Um, there were things in there that were, weren't super obvious, um, but I wanted you to see how, uh, how that all came together. So I used the cover... Uh, the hero cover pattern, put that in, and I customized it by literally just removing that image and um, giving it to uh, giving it the background color of the website. Now the next section here, and again, I guess I mean, styling is subjective, right? So this this is still probably arguably too big, um, but for the sake of this video, we're going to continue on. Okay, so now we're going to add in the more dynamic components here. I'm just going to focus on uh, the featured article 
uh, for the sake of time in this video, but you'll see kind of where I'm going with this as I build out um, the RAF theme for the WP Minute. So a few things we have to kind of trick the system of full site editing. It's a little annoying. You'll see how annoyed I get, but uh, this is the only way that I know how to do it. And uh, until uh, things get better with full site editing, and I guess also on theme authors as well, Raft included, if they had more patterns here, for example, um, when I'm the the only post query loop they have or pattern they have is this one. And when I add it in, um, I don't know why that went below the footer. Let's move that up or let's move that down, I should say. Uh, it's this sort of, you know, whatever, typical stacked featured image, date, title, uh, category, and excerpt. It's very traditional. I guess it's probably what 90, most, most people want, 90% of the people want when they're building out their site. I don't. I want more flexibility with my content layouts, my dynamic content layouts. I'm not static content, but posts, pages, articles, that kind of thing. Um, so we have to kind of trick the system here. And inside the post template, what we want to do is add in a raft section or an otter section. So we're going to do section, add that in, go back here, and now we'll see the post template. It didn't add it into the post template. We're going to kind of drag it in there. And now we'll add a one-to-one -one or two equal columns. If it's not in the post template, if it's not a child of the post template, then it doesn't retain any of the dynamic stuff. It becomes just static data at that point. Believe me, it, I spent a half an hour trying to figure out what was going on when I was bringing it into, uh, into different sections when it was outside of the post template. All right, so we're going to drag in the featured image into the left-hand column. Uh, and then we're going to put the title in the right-hand column, and you can kind of start to see this already uh, take shape where we're getting to play with the uh, look and feel of this custom query. Um, I'm going to add in the category, let's say, above the post title, and then I'm going to put the excerpt below the post title. Do I want to do that? Probably not. I probably want to go post title above the featured image. Nope. Below the featured image. Uh, I'm going to play with this just for the video's sake. And then we'll go post date above the category. We don't need this pagination anymore. We don't need this no results. I don't even know why it's there. And then the go to post link uh, is totally fine with that. So this isn't 100% of how I'd, I want it laid out, but you can kind of see it taking shape. You definitely have to do some, you know, custom CSS stuff if you wanted to do some kind of like overlay, uh, sort of like I guess I have here, uh, which I won't be able to achieve with my development shops. However, I can customize this because this um, is a little too close to each other. That's my design language for that. Uh, if we expand the right hand side, we can go into the styling and give this some uh, some padding. So if I just go one pixel up, and that's not what I want. I want margin. Is that what I want? I want margin, right? So if I go into, oh, that's the entire section. So what I need to do is highlight uh, section. I need to go to column. Uh, column width is 50%. Actually, if I brought this down to 40%, I just go 40, type in 40. That would give me some more room on this side. That's fairly decent. And then if I went to style, now I could give this uh, some margin, say 20. And then if I go to this column and give this 20, I don't know if margin is the right one if it's supposed to be padding, but uh, that's how I'm going to approach it. <laughs> right there, I'm going to make this uh, wide width. And that looks a little bit better. Uh, not going to lie, it looks a little bit better. And then here I might say featured article, right? And that helps me achieve, you know, this section a little bit more. So I had to get a little crafty, but it's nice uh, that I can customize these sections and bring these sections in really easy. That's thanks uh, to the Otter Blocks and the Raft theme. And then the rest of the insanity was full site editing. Uh, hopefully that gets better in the future. From there, I would go and continue to create more query loops to build out my homepage. I could start adding more uh, articles here and then other call to actions. I'm not going to do that for the sake of the length of this video already. 
uh, and I'll give you my final thoughts on the RAF theme. So it's the RAF theme. You can get it for free over at themeisle.com. You can download it for free and start playing with it, start customizing it. I think the look and feel of it is great. Uh, for me, a modern uh, software styled theme is right up my alley because of the type of content that I produce. You might want something a little bit more corporate, a little bit more uh, classic. Uh, if you do, you can spend time customizing it. If not, you can check out some of their other themes to see if they uh, if they make sense. One of the things that I don't see Theme Isle doing for this particular theme is uh, loading in different uh, theme templates, different styles. Uh, I know specifically with the Nev theme, you can bring in different styles that they have, uh, which is Nev theme is also also another great theme <laughs> that they produce. Um, but the RAF theme uh, is obviously geared to be more of this super lightweight, you know, start customizing it in the full site editor, you know, and go nuts. Whereas their Nev theme has all kinds of other page building support. Uh, the thing that really makes this shine, of course, is the Otter plugin. I have the pro version up here because I just want to cut to the chase with this to get the most uh, the most out of Otter blocks. You do have to get their pro uh, plan if you want the you know thirty plus block extensions, the WooCommerce product builder, the enhanced pop up block builder. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. It is a full fledged uh, block pro block tool for forty nine dollars a year for one website, uh, but they have their free version in the WordPress repo. You can download it, you can install it for free. Uh, at the end of the day. The only nuances I have really end up being with full site editing. For me, full site editing is just not there yet uh, for the average user. Uh, you can see, you saw some of my struggles uh, with customizing this site before. I had, you know, a little bit to do with the RAF theme. You know, I'd love if they had some more uh, query block patterns. That'd be great. I wouldn't have to be sort of fooling the system with sections. Uh, that is nice that I can kind of customize it with sections, however. Um, but still struggling with uh, the full site editing in terms of just uh, ha not having all of the complete features you want and a pretty stuffy interface, <laughs> uh, to say the least. When you have this tray open, you have this tray open, and then you're in here and you're you know using some options from here, some options from the right side, and still dragging stuff here in the in the tray in the left hand side if you want to get you know really accurate with stuff. Um, you know, again, that's all full site editing. That's my qualms with full site editing. Uh, that'll get better, you know, hopefully in the future. Otherwise, uh, hey, you can download this theme for free. You can start using it. You can start playing with it. You can try Otter Blocks for free as well and maybe get your site uh, all the way that you need to get to for free. Check it out, themeisle.com. I really think that Themeisle puts out some great stuff. Uh, check them out, themeisle.com.